It had been nearly 12 days since the ship left Ireland, but CIWF investigators in Beirut located the Rami M before her living cargo had been unloaded. So the, this is the ship. At the first unloading of the cattle, investigators could see no evidence of the compulsory veterinary inspection required by EU standards taking place. No facilities for carrying out such checks within the port could be located. Investigators were invited on board the Rami M sister ship, the Spiridon, itself licensed to carry cattle from Ireland to Lebanon, but which this time had arrived in Beirut after a five-day voyage from the Italian port of Trieste. The condition of the animals on board did not bode well for the Irish cattle, which endured a journey nearly three times as long. Up to 15 animals at once were crowded into general purpose vehicles for a chaotic journey, taking them from the port to the outskirts of Beirut. Fourteen kilometers north of Beirut, we followed a truckload of exhausted and heavily overcrowded Irish bulls from the Rami M in the port to this location. This appears to be a lairage. Cattle not to be slaughtered immediately would be rested and fattened in facilities like this for anything up to 10 days, allowing them to regain weight lost during the trauma of the voyage. This standard of welfare during the transport of cattle would be illegal within the EU. But this treatment of cattle from the EU here in Lebanon is directly subsidised by the payment of export refunds. Investigators trailed one load of imported Spanish cattle for nearly four hours, during which time they stood in an overcrowded vehicle in 30 degree heat with no water. One animal was trampled as a result of repeatedly collapsing under the strain of the journey. It was clear that the drivers of the vehicle had little or no training in the care of animals during transit. Investigators recorded the poor condition of the Spanish cattle after they were taken off the truck. Many of the imported animals are held by, or bought directly from, livestock agents by individuals or small companies. Investigators witnessed the holding conditions and slaughter facilities at one such privately owned establishment, the destination for some of the animals from the Rami M and other animals from within the European Union. The latest stage of the journey had left the cattle from the Rami M seemingly exhausted. These ones have just arrived. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, is it the Rami M? Rami M. Uh, yeah, I know the ones, yeah. Oman. Yeah. Irlandi, Oman. Returning later to the same location, investigators saw how EU cattle were slaughtered. After time to recuperate and fatten, a number of the Irish animals from the Rami M would suffer the same fate. This standard of slaughter would be illegal within the EU. However, the subsidised export of EU cattle means it is a profitable option to send animals to be killed in Lebanon in this way. So we, we brought our notepads. We really just want to make some technical notes about uh, the system. It's okay? Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. Filming secretly, standards were exposed as even worse at the government-run Carantina Slaughterhouse in Beirut, where the slaughter of EU cattle regularly takes place.
handling techniques and the use of equipment at this facility was carried out with little or no regard for animal welfare or safety. Islam says that you, you mustn't slaughter animal, uh, those uh, which have been stressed in any form of way, uh, any form of manner, those might have had uh, attracted any kind of bacteria or disease or anything of this kind. Because the very fact is this, we are asked to be as humane as possible. And, and for uh, 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 consumption by human being, this kind of meat would, uh, should not be allowed or uh, uh, authenticated as halal at all. Investigators obtained conclusive proof that an animal transported from Ireland to Lebanon on the Rami M was killed in the Carantina slaughterhouse. According to the Irish Department of Agriculture, the animal issued with ear tag number 19153354 was a male Frisian born on February the 6th, 2003 in a County Kerry herd. After being sold into a Kilkenny herd at one month old, the animal was then sold into a Carlo herd at nine months old. The official Irish Department of Agriculture response to CIWF's inquiry into the animal's origins and fate reads, The animal was presented for export on the 1st of October 2004 at the Export Assembly Centre in Waterford for export to the Lebanon. Our records show that it was exported to Lebanon on the MV Rami through Waterford Port on the 1st of October 2004. Given that it was exported live, we have no details on our database regarding its slaughter. Another victim of the trade of transport and slaughter subsidised by the European Union. Compassion in World Farming is calling for an end to the payment of export refunds which directly subsidise the needless cruelty exposed here. Thank you for sitting through the shocking scenes shown in this film. Surely there must be a better way to use taxpayers' money in the European Union. Compassion in World Farming is urging the European Commission and the Council of Ministers to end the payment of refunds on the export of live cattle from the European Union to third countries. Please help us and support our campaign. Taxpayers from across the European Union will be horrified to know that their hard-earned money is being spent subsidising the live export of cattle. I urge taxpayers to support your campaign and I hope this policy ends very soon. It really is time to stop the bullshit.